immediately when uh, we got the message about the bombing in uh, Bogos, MDA immediately do anything he can to arrange uh, two plane, a team of uh, paramedics and doctors from uh, Ikhilov uh, Hospital. Uh, later, the, the, later uh, at the night, in like around 10 o'clock, uh, two airplanes with uh, teams from MDA uh, went to uh, Bogus. Immediately when they landed in the, in the country, they went immediately to the hospital to do a first triage of the, of the patient and to arrange their return to Israel. Uh, a few minutes ago, we just finished to uh, receive all the patients with IAF uh, airplane. We send them to the hospitals, each patient to his own town hospital. So what was the situation of, uh, of the uh, wounded, of the injured, when you arrived there? Uh, most of them so, uh, suffer from uh, uh, burn injuries, some with sharpness. Uh, you know, uh, same injuries that you can uh, find in any bombing and fire. Uh, most of them was uh, uh, elder people, a uh, few was uh, teenagers, and uh, unfortunately a few deads, uh, five Israelis and two uh, foreign, and uh, some, some of our team helped with, uh, to the police the, to uh, identify the bodies. Uh, with the uh, Zaka organization. So how did the Israelis react to your arrival? We understand there was lots of emotions, lots of excitement. A lot of emotions, very, very, something that we, do, uh, we are not used to. Uh, immediately when uh, the team arrived to the, uh, to the airport, uh, you know, everybody went uh, with applause and shouting and uh, singing, and it was very, very emotional. So you're feeling after this uh, assignment, it seems that the Israeli forces will come anywhere to help Israelis. This is something that we are used to do. We did it before and we will do it again, unfortunately.